Hi everyone, Liam Catterson here. I'm upset. I'm upset with the last episode. Uh, yes, we're on episode number 10 of I, Zombie. That happened last episode. You bring in a cutie for a few episodes and then... So, yeah. So, last episode, um, yeah, really, really great stuff, uh, very tense as well, as we got to the bottom of the connection of Blade and Lull, um, as we figured in the ending of episode 8, and, um, Lull explained himself, seemed like all things were, um, coming up live again, but, yeah, so... Like I said, I mean, it, I I don't have any kind of hope that he survived in the um, manner the Candyman did because, um, as I've said, I've played enough zombie games to know that you want to go for the head and not the, you know, body or the arms. I mean, they will uh, eventually die if you shoot enough, but the head's pretty much the kryptonite, so... And that's where Lowell got shot, so... Be very interesting to explore the ramifications, uh, especially because the idea was Liv to um, kill Blaine. She couldn't go through with it, of course. Um, so it will be very interesting to go into this episode thinking uh, if Liv is going to have any kind of um, regret uh, now that Lil's dead. But let's get into this episode. This is episode number 10 of I Zombie Season 1. Let's go. Yep. I'm hurting. She's in there. What happened? Lowell Tracy found dead in his apartment. A parent's suicide, but neighbors heard two voices before the shot. Well, who do they think did it? Yeah, they're gonna sus Yeah. She was at the scene when he got there. And the alibi is not great. Paul 911. We're done here. Oh so no. Mr. Tracy's hand is consistent with a self-inflicted wound. Textbook suicide. Of so course, of course, you're gonna brush it off like that. Closed. Being in cahoots. Sorry for your loss. Come on, come on. I need to eat. I'm still on PTSD brain, and I, and I tried to sleep. I keep it's, seeing it's yesterday gonna, over yeah, and over. It's not gonna help, is it, Lil Steph? Absolutely anything. I mean, I, I don't really know what happened yesterday. I mean, Clive told me all he knows, and, and Suzuki was down. Tell him the truth, because you could trust him. The story in her apartment. She was found at the foot of her stairs with a broken neck. Hinton, did she work at the Observer? Uh, How did you know? She's the reporter Major worked with when the police wouldn't help him find his shelter kids. The one that wrote the expose that got him beaten to a. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah what? Well, okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, she was there, wasn't she? An alcoholic. If you eat her brain, chances are I'll end up at the bottom of a bottle. Sold. Oh no, live. Oh. Julie. And then the other day, he broke into my frigging car. He was arrested. Should be on record. That guy's got a screw loose. Do I of look course. Like somebody who took three to the chest last rock. night. But if we say suicide, then the body can be... Well, we can destroy it. <sighs> oh my god, no, this is... Without your blessing. This is rough. I need a drink. Oh, uh, oh, whoa. What the f... Okay. What's this? Shrimp? Smells fantastic. Oh no, don't eat it. Don't you dare eat I'm it. The oh. The case. Mr. Richmond. Oh. I told you I'm not gonna talk about it. Get out of here. Sorry, no Richmond, no Jackson. Will that be all, detectives? I do not trust him. Uh, you go on. Unless that's what they want you to think. Get some air. Someone who's acting a bit. Sure, do your thing. Up his butt. Just saying, happen didn't happen. And if Damn it. Did, we got a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's not winning. 
Major just takes L's after L's after L's. But for 220. Involuntary commitment to a psych facility. We're using when behavior is erratic, dangerous, and escalating. Now, if someone at my psych internship told me that, and there was a picture of that guy at the gym the next day, there's no question. It's delusional, this sort of paranoid features. You can't fix that with a vacation. He has to go there. Choice. Oh, and he's, and this is, he's not losing it as well, but as Clive said, ordinary people do not shrug off three bullets. Halloween party. What's with the Max Rager guy? He was going as me for Halloween. I was oh shit, kind of Max, a Max Rager. Rager addict. Or he oh, used to be. Oh Okay, okay. Because that's obviously been familiar terrain um, this what season, especially Mr. in regards to zombie. Dunzo. Who am I calling to come get you? <sighs> It's very heartbreaking. I'm guessing zombies, you know, aren't resistant. Hey. Oh. You're ready to go home. Is this going to be the time where she drunkenly says, hey, zombies exist? I want to explain. I want to tell you. No, live. It's okay. He needs to know. Of course, he's gonna think differently. I'm just. I also taught him to declaim Hamlet's soliloquies. He holds a tiny skull. It's quite something. We're doing Fallon tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> oh, that would so be cool. I the sketchy D bag and his lawyer. Turns out he was at a debate or in a minute. I'm man a trucker who mowed down half a charity bike race with this 18 wheeler. Guess what he's been drinking to stay awake on this long haul. Does it? MR Jackson yeah. and MR Richmond both went MR Berserk. No, if this girl got out, it could sink Max Rager. And if Rebecca mm -hmm. got hands on that memo. Right here. I'm so sorry. She wouldn't listen to me. I stood in front of the door and she just came at me. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Next time, I won't move. I'll just take the hit. It's okay. It's okay. You did beautifully. You really did. Now just relax. Feel, she's only doing her job, Breathe. but. I don't think she realizes this company is I did I could. in the I shitter. Could common denominator could the moon have been full perhaps we know about the memo stop telling Your bullshit warned you and you deemed the side effect statistically insignificant you buried it the memo does exist yes but it's a phony it was of course of course competitors live to the max ms moore just do it somewhere else yeah yosh that smug ass piece of shit this guy's guilty as fuck. I specifically told uh -oh. you not to go. All I did was ask questions. You're drunk. You're drunk. You know, I smelled it on you before and- I know all about Eliza Marquette. She was protecting the memo. You need to get your hands on it. It'll bring Max Rager to its knees. But Vaughn admits it's out there. He says that it's a fake. No, he's a lying sack. Rebecca's up Yeah, of course. Like, like that smug ass does he- He's still on the inside. He has so power. Close. We have to get to him and that document fast. Before we end up shot and buried in a hole somewhere. There's a bit of rogueness going on. I don't know if Clive's gonna second source, but be happy about that, but... Second source. Yeah. Why can't you march into American Psycho's office posing as a police officer? Thanks, but no. Rebecca found three Is it separate worth the pieces risk, of but... Max Rager induced violence. Is this... Doesn't you can speak injured. out. This isn't my problem. Oh, if you believed that, you wouldn't have been brave enough to swipe that memo. You can go to the police right now. Once this story's out, you're safe. You'll be able to protect me? Yes. You can bring down the system. Or put okay. a dent in, if anything. I'm Adele! 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 Well, are you okay? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you look a little pale. <laughs> what a dick! Great! Oh no. Thanks for smoking out a whistleblower for us. I swear you There is. Pulse. Max Rager Mole. No, nope, but I'm glad you're up. I never get to chat while I'm on the job. Leverage. 
But I gotta keep it, right? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep it. Ugh. It's not wrong about the rival companies wanting a whiff of. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid. The water's quick. Oh. Ooh, she's quicker, buddy. Oh, Throw him overboard. Okay. Holy, he's dead. Surely, guy shouldn't even be awake right now. Well, he's definitely not awake now, is he? Fuck. Because I couldn't, Lowell stepped up and it got him killed. It's my fault he's dead. It's not. It's not. Oliver. Zombie problem. I mean, it. If 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 Mage is gonna take that, <laughs> oh wait, the shit! Is that is that the guy? Yeah, that's oh boy. Well, that's great. That's the Sebastian guy, isn't it? That um, we thought got pulverized because Liv ran over him with the boat. And that's a problem because obviously with him being, um, um, yeah. Oh, sh yeah, this is going to be a problem. Because he's going to be out for revenge, especially with how with what Liv dug up and, you know, Max Rager and all that. So, and, um, yeah, it's not going to stop. But it is very interesting how that is escalating. Because it obviously has been mentioned a few times this season. Um, and it seems like coming into the final bunch of episodes... Um, things are gonna, uh, especially with Max Rager, potentially, things might be stepping up a notch. But, yeah. Um, I don't know if Mage's also gonna know the truth. He, like, to be fair, he could pass off, um, he, he could, um, pass off that, um, statement from Scott E. as bullshit, to be fair. I don't know. I'm just, I, it's a 50-50 um, street at the minute, but it would be an unexpected way for Major to, I guess, find out because you'd expect Liv to tell him. You'd expect someone of the main cast to tell him, but not someone who, who knows what Major is going through, so. But, oh. It's great, though, because um, I never really expected Max Rager to play a much... Like, what I was envisioning, especially after Lowell's death um, in the last episode, was the focus would be on dealing with Blaine. And whilst I, that seemingly is still going to be the case, as um, Liv and Ravi, uh, I guess, discussed um, in uh, the moment where Liv said goodbye, I guess, to Lowell, um, it's to, it, it seems like Max Rager is still going to... Um, there, there might be, a, I guess, a dual storyline in terms of adversaries with with Blaine and uh with Max Rager because uh that Sebastian guy who um was a a secret spy for I guess Max Rager yeah he's he's now going to be an issue especially if he's silencing people uh, as well so uh, getting rid of their bodies getting rid of Adele's body and uh um um I think it was Eliza they mentioned yeah like Eliza's presumably down there so yeah, but um yeah, this was this was a really rough episode, like for Liv especially. For Major as well. Um we'll get to that in the moment, but um yeah, um I just it 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 just was I don't know, a recipe for disaster in a sense for Liv's uh, character because 
Um, obviously, she was still suffering from the PTSD brain that uh, she acquired in the last episode, and then uh, she wanted uh, a new brain, and um, her choice was, well, her only choice was the one that was an alcoholic, and um, obviously with Liv mourning over Lowell, um, yeah, it's, you can really sadly see where things were going, and, uh, you had Ravi concerned, you had Clive concerned, um, especially when she stormed into Max Ranger, but it was really cool to see, um, I guess the CEO, um, and just to get an idea of how much of a dickhead he is, because you saw that smug-ass smile, um, just before that scene ended, and it was like, yeah, this, this is a person that is going to sleep comfortably knowing that his uh, energy drink is corrupt as shit. Um, so yeah. And we are seeing the consequences of that. There was a prank that was played uh, with uh, Jason. I think his name was. And um, he, um, yeah, he was um, traumatized with that um, because obviously he thought he killed uh, that Connie. Uh, yeah. Connie. Um, but it was all an elaborate prank. But being drunk, well, um, yeah, being drunk and um, having Max Rager involved, it's, yeah, it's it's um, going to have you uh, questioning on all of that. And we had major uh, questioning uh, everything. So, yeah, but um, it was a really, really great episode uh, in terms of dealing with Liv and I guess the fallout of what happened to Lowell. It, it really does break my heart that she's putting herself onto the blame in terms of um, not being able to save Lowell. But, but like I said, I feel like it's going to be a it's going to be a case where if you didn't if if uh, you shot Blaine, then that's going to create bigger problems. But at the end of the day, you <sighs> Lowell shouldn't have died as well. But yeah, so. But uh, we saw Liv, of course, with that struggle in terms of um, should <clears throat> should um, Lowell's body be cremated, I guess. Uh, I, I, I think that's what they meant in terms of getting rid of the body. Um, obviously, they're not going to like dump it overboard or whatever. But um, especially with him being a zombie as well, it, it might cause problems uh, potentially if someone uh, get that, uh, got their hands on it. So, yeah. But uh, it's also really great to see them, of course... Um, suspecting that the uh, uh, uh suzuki i think his name is yeah um that he is in cahoots with blaine um and yeah so um it's gonna be a very interesting uh, i think we've only got three episodes left so it's gonna be a very interesting final three episodes because um things are ramping up with max rager with blaine with suzuki um having his um pocket with blaine um not the other way around well i don't know if it's i don't think it's the other way around because blaine um is dealing with an authentic business so and obviously we know that Suzuki is a zombie, so, um, but, um, yeah, it's really, really interesting as we come towards these final three episodes. I, I don't know if some things are going to carry over to season two, because I don't know what, um, is happening in terms of the timeline, if season two got greenlit at this point or whatnot, but, um, yeah, um, I am really, really intrigued to see where these final few episodes do go, but, um, yeah, I really loved that shot at the end with, um, Ravi con uh, fronting Liv, um, because, um, I really, I, I really love the idea that we established, um, so much of their, like, friendship and how hard, and, and how Ravi knew it was, uh, difficult to deal with the, uh, lol situation because they had to cover it, um, in terms of, um, labeling it as a, as a suicide. Um, they couldn't really go, like, live Ravi, they know the full beans. Um, Ravi knew later regarding what, what, the whole shebang was but um yeah um it was it was just really really sad like going into um Liv's moments and Ravi was there because Ravi was um being a really really amazing friend and knowing what Liv was going through and um it was just very very difficult so and you could you could tell on Ravi's face he could sense that so but I think this episode really did a good job at showcasing um their uh, their their chemistry in in a very very difficult situation so um yeah it was very 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 heartbreaking so yeah but um yeah i really really um thought that the major story was pretty great as well as sad as it was but it, it is pretty great to see major get because 
I don't know. When we started with iZombie, I didn't think Major would be getting so much of a story for, uh, for himself. Um, so, yeah. But I'm really impressed with what they're doing with Major's story and how, how um, tragic it is as well. Because, um, obviously, he's been seeing these things. He's saw he saw julian's um eyes turn red uh there's the whole case with him taking three bullets and uh clive saying yeah you're not the guy who looked well no julian said do i look like the guy who who has taken three bullets um and it's so difficult because he's not in the uh, major's not in the know clive's not in the know um so it's very very difficult and i feel like this creates i guess a realistic scenario because um i don't know like when we don't have any kind of precedent in the real world on how we're going to react in terms of um, um seeing someone who is a zombie get up after taking three bullets or whatnot but um this kind of scenario is uh unprecedented in the world of i zombie and it, there is reason to believe that am I uh, losing it and all of that so um, yeah it is a very heartbreaking scenario and I thought uh, there was a moment <clears throat> where um, I thought that by the end of the episode which we kind of did but like I said it's up for debate in terms of if um, if if um, Major's going to believe the fact that oh, oh it's a zombie outbreak um, so yeah but um, I thought we were going to get Live telling um major about the whole zombie situation it is a very difficult situation um but i feel like with Liv not being able to tell um major about the whole zombie shenanigans and all of that i feel like that was more so for his own benefit rather than um in terms of being protected because it's going to be a case of he's going to get himself killed if he keeps inquiring onto this. So it might be for the best. Like, it is very, very um, heartbreaking because um, Major is so close. He's on the cusp. But you have these people who are just saying, uh, I uh, I think something is off. And um, obviously they, they are not in the know and Major is so close and we're rooting for Major to find out. But I, I feel like with Liv saying that going to a hospital, it might be best for you. I feel like that's more so for his protection because it's going to be a case of one of these days he's going to get himself killed. Because how many L's does the guy need to take? I mean, I can't remember. I, I literally can't remember the last time we've had a major um episode. We've had an episode with Major involved that he didn't have his, you know, guts kicked out of physically or whatever so yeah the guy just keeps getting knocked down left right and center so um i feel like live sent uh live um suggesting for him to uh, actually go through with that facility uh, i think that's more so for his own benefit so he doesn't end up dead because um obviously um she knows the whole shebang and, and she and, and she knows that major isn't losing it but it's all a matter of you can't really tell him this. And it sucks for Liv as well because she's dealing with Lowell's death and now she's uh, on the cusp on telling uh, on if she should tell Major about the whole zombie world, especially since um, <clears throat> um, the idea of her and Major had to be cancelled because of the fact that she was a zombie and she couldn't risk turning him into a zombie. So... Yeah, it it is a there's there's quite the bit to juggle in terms of um Liv's mind state as well as the fact that she has acquired the mind of um someone who was an alcoholic. So yeah, um, so it is quite the pickle that Liv was in. But um, yeah, it was a really really interesting episode. I am really curious to see um what Major's reaction is after um Scott E. Um, told him about the whole zombie thing. I am really interested to see if he's going to believe that or if he's going to dismiss that and try to deny it because he wants to... Um, he does want to get better and he wants to um, try to put that behind him and not risk himself any further. But um, at the same time, I feel like it is inevitable that Mage is going to know. So... Yeah, but yeah, very, very sad circumstance with, of course, Lowell 
um, yes, my heart was breaking, but also a very, very amazing episode in terms of focusing on Max Rager, um, which, like I said, have been mentioned a few times this season. And uh, yeah, with three episodes left to go, things are ramping up. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how things play out. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!